Welcome to the 2021 Magic of Horror Online Awards Show. I'm your host, Shiva Rodriguez. I'm one of the co-founders of the Magic of Horror Festival. My partner, Larry Fowley, is in Richmond, Virginia right now, announcing the awards at the live event at the beautiful Firehouse Theater. But we know that all the cool kids are hanging out with me here online. However, we're going to let her say a few words because she would like to say hi to everybody. Hi, I'm Lowry Foley, and this is Bella, and I am one of the organizers of Magic of Horror Film Festival. I am here in Richmond running the live festival, but you guys are watching this virtual version that my partner Shiva Rodriguez has put together for you, and I just wanted to say good luck, filmmakers, and may the odds be ever in your favor. And this is Hades. They'll be giving out the awards tonight. As you know, we don't screen the full films here online, but we will be showing you a lot of teasers and trailers from this year's selections. And if you visit our website at magicofhorror.com and look into the archives, you will find a lot of more information about where these films are screening, and some of them have already been released. So you'll be able to see the films there. And we're also really good about announcing whenever we know of any selections that have been released. So if you keep an eye on us on Facebook, you'll probably catch the news there too. Now all of the winners of tonight's awards will be receiving one of our adorable little skeleton trophies. You can't see who won, because the real ones are in Virginia right now. But if you're not there to pick one up in person, we'll be getting a hold of you so we can find out where to mail it to you. And with that being said, let's start handing out some of these creepy little puppies, shall we? Now, we're going to be starting off tonight by handing out the awards for the screenwriting categories. And I know how hard it is being a screenwriter at a film festival. You don't have a face on the screen, nobody knows who you are, and you can't exactly hand your script out to everybody to read prior to the awards. The thing is, films can't be made without screenwriters. They're the backbone of any production. So, we'd like to honor the screenwriters first. And the winner is The Bloody Benders by Brian Savage. Crushed beneath the weight of their student loans, a doctor and his wife jump at the chance to have some of those loans repaid by moving to a small, middle-of-nowhere town in Kansas. But dark and terrible secrets await to be uncovered. And the winner is Horror Kid by Billy McAfee. A bullied farm boy must conjure up a monster to take revenge against his real-life enemy. The winner is El Hazred, Sands of Madness by Clemente Esparza II. I could tell you a bit about this script, but I think it's better coming from the writer himself. Oh, and he didn't know he won when he sent us this. Hey, what's up? My name is Clemente Esparza, and I wrote El Hazred, Sands of Madness. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you to the Magic of Horror Film Festival for selecting my screenplay uh, as a finalist in the first 10 pages category. Uh, it's pretty cool because it's the first time I've ever submitted it, so 
it's pretty cool. So what inspired me to write this screenplay was, you know, simply just being a fan of H.P. Lovecraft and the Cthulhu mythos. Uh, also, Abdul Alhazred is a cool and complex character. You know, I figured if I could maybe add uh, an origin story to him and, you know, we can go deeper into the character and, you know, figure out why he chose dark magic to be his medium and why he became so powerful. Like, what drove him to that point? Yeah, so essentially that was the, the reason why I wanted to create this story. And the winner is Platoon Z by Vicky Dupias. And I don't have to tell you about this story either, because she also sent us a video. She didn't know that she won either. Hi everybody, I'm Vicky Dupuy and I wrote the screenplay Platoon Z. Here's a short breakdown of the story. Condemned criminal Mercedes Rodriguez was set to die by lethal injection. Instead, she wakes up on a mysterious island and she's not alone. Joining forces with seven other condemned inmates, they compete in the game of survival where the winner is guaranteed a new identity and a million dollars. Little do they know the horrors that await them. Will any of them survive the onslaught and ravenous appetites of bloodthirsty zombies, anacondas, caimans, and piranhas? This is a story about justice, redemption, forgiveness, sacrifice, and revenge. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I wonder sometimes if the reason we see him is because of the thoughts we all have, or because of the things we regret or feel guilty over. I, I feel like when he's watch watching me, I, I, I don't know. Like, he's trying to remind me of something. Like, he wants me to feel guilty, like I did something wrong. I just don't know what it could be. I don't understand. <sighs> this is my family too. Where am I supposed to go if I can't go home? Where do I go if I can't go to my family? This year for the Life Festival, we had a bit of a time crunch. You see, we have two days, but last year's, last year's selections kind of got robbed because we had to cancel the live show. So we devoted the first night of this year's festival to all of our 2020 selections. And that kind of cut us down on time for our features. Now our feature contest, our feature film contest is one of our newer contests. And it was so new that we completely forgot to put it on our regular submission page. Fortunately, a lot of you guys did manage to find it. And we did get quite a few good submissions this year. But because there, because there weren't nearly as many features as there are shorts for this year, we're grouping all of the awards into one, one big announcement. So, you'll have to forgive me, feature filmmakers. But I promise you, next year, two, two nights, all 2022 selections.
more features. So without further ado, let's take a look at our award winners for the features. However, we were able to squeeze in the grand prize winner of our feature film competition, which is our Best Film Award. And that goes to... And his son, then it. Needs a little work. I kind of like it. it. Gives me the creeps. The Shep family has never escaped the shadow of the Whooper. You're telling me somebody has actually seen that movie in the past 20 years? My babies and I watch it all the time. How many do you have? There's something, something down here. Pete! Pete! Aren't we having fun? Aren't we? We gotta get out of here. We gotta run. There is something in that house. <laughs> She's killing you! She's killing all of you! Congratulations to the Whooper Returns! Hey, I didn't call it the Whopper at this time, so nobody thinks it's about a bunch of hamburgers running amok. But seriously, it is a really great, scary, creepy, and fun film. And keep an eye out on our social media or our website because we will be letting you guys know the minute we find out that it's been released.
Here at The Magic of Horror, we are constantly looking to expand into different mediums when it comes to the horror genre. Tonight we're going to be showing you some artwork from A.M. Ewings, who was kind enough to let us share some of his creepy creations with you tonight. Hello everyone, my name is Stigma, I mean Adam Martin Ewings, and welcome to Magic of Horror Festival. Um, today I'll be explaining my inspiration for my art you are seeing in front of you, of why I kill people. Anyway, my main inspiration is the followers. Over the years that I've started creating horror, I've grown a quite high number of followers that I've joined in my work, from art to my 360s to my videos, requesting to do different stuff. Um, and that's my inspiration, is the followers. You watching now is my inspiration it's like my purpose. I feel worthy of something. I mean, I don't know if that's bad or not. I don't know. Everyone deserves to be worth something. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your evening. I do not know if it's evening, day, afternoon or what time the festival's going to be because I live in the UK and I'm sat in my front room now with a sheet behind me with a bit of cardboard behind it sat on this wooden chair trying to look professional. I'm not. <laughs> I work in retail. I've got no money in what I earn, that's it. Anyway, love to you all. Speaking of artwork, nothing grabs a viewer quite like the movie poster. Think about it, you're looking through all these streaming channels and all you see is the posters lined up and you see one that just kind of bangs you and makes you say, I want to see that film. 
Yeah, we know how important that is. So, our ever-popular poster contest is our next category for the awards tonight. And the winner is Not in the Dark. The nostalgic feel of this creepy poster really took our jury back to the days when they feared things that went bump in the night. ¿Por qué aullamos a la luna? Preguntó el pequeño lobo a la manada. Le agradecemos que nos ilumine a la hora de cazar. Le dijo la madre loba. Cazar. Pensativo, el lobato preguntó. ¿A qué sabe la luna? La luna no se puede comer, porque nadie la puede alcanzar. ¿Y si lo hiciera? Si algún día me comiese la luna entera. ¿Y qué sería el lobo sin la luna? Trauma on the basis of loss of a parent. After I buried my father, nothing was holding me here. I packed my books and went traveling. Italy, France, Spain, even China at some point. I think you need some more light. About as much light as one can get in this area. Still, I am one lucky girl. Now we try to do special interest competitions from time to time. Uh, last year we did the Give Us Your Worst competition, which is fun, and the people who attended the live festival got to see some really bad films because of that one. This year we wanted to see how creative musicians could get by having a horror genre music video competition. So let's take a look at those finalists. And the winner is DDD by Eric Unusual. This catchy tune about the unwillingness to change while seeking redemption grabbed our attention with its interesting visuals and unique storytelling.
Let's do it. Did you forget I was coming all those? No, no. I was just sleeping and I got this gnawing feeling that I'm supposed to remember something. I know this is probably not my place, but are you sure everything is alright with Mary? This load is just too heavy for old hearts to bear. The story's father has shared are not far off. Yes. You have had too much bourbon entertaining that man's far-fetched fantasy. I know what you need, and I know what I need. Next up, we've got movie trailers. This is one of our favorite competitions because it's really fun to see how people take their entire movie and condense it down to two minutes in order to grab our attention. This is also the only submissions that we can show in their entirety to our online audience. So you'll be seeing them play throughout the course of this evening. Let's take a look at our finalists. And the winner is Merge, directed by Miranda Bowden. This trailer certainly has us wanting to see her film about a woman with split personalities. Let's have a look at it. I'm smart enough to know that normal is an abstract. I'm smart enough to know that normal is not the norm. It holds no real meaning. It holds no constant form a false reality. And yet, it's all I want to be. I'm fighting the demons that have taken up residence inside my mind. The demons that have me treating myself so unkind. It is the days I try to rewrite history and more. The days when searching inside myself feels like a chore. Those are the days I'm haunted by. Those are the days the darkness way down inside of me creeps to the surface and finds its way outside. The days I would rather experience hell than heaven. The nights I succumb to another being. But that's all over. That's gone for now. I am on a path to heal, craving normalcy. A tree root of sorts. A mirror or illusion. Regardless, it's the life we let others see. Because even when you think finally I see everything clearly, your vision can still be blurred by evil. Catherine, it's Mirabel. I, I, I'm speaking to Mirabel. Your daughter, is it? 
peace. You should know better, Charles. Catherine and I. Mirabelle. He's in bed asleep, as I mean to be. Now it's time for us to start handing out the awards for the short film category, which has always been one of our most popular contests. This year it was really difficult for our judges to narrow it down to finalists, let alone pick winners. Our first award for the short film category tonight is on editing. Now we all know that a tightly cut film is crucial when it comes to the pacing of a story. You have to know how long you can hold a shot or when to cut quick in order to really get that story to flow correctly and keep your audience's attention. So let's take a look at tonight's nominees. And the winner is Scribbler. Combined with some really impressive special effects, this film is cut in all the right places to bring the tale of an inanimate object trying to communicate with its owner to life. My whole life, I had always believed I was lost. But that night, I looked up and I saw him, and I just knew. I knew that love had found me. Now earlier we saw some music videos, but scoring a film with music is a completely different monster. The music in a film can really help ramp up the tension or cue the audience in on when it's okay to relax, or maybe not. Let's take a look at tonight's nominees. And the winner is Last Day. The combination of music styles in this film were just as interesting as the main character's last day of work. Thank you. 
Next up, special effects. This is usually one of the first things that people think about when they think of the horror genre. Whether it's in-cam practical effects or visual effects, the type of magic that goes into making the creatures and the gore is always a crowd pleaser. So let's take a look at tonight's nominees. And the winner is Hide or Seek. This terrifying short film caught attention for its very unusual weapon choice and the terrifying execution of, well, the members of its cast. What do you guys do for fun around here? You're looking at it. No haunted cemeteries? Maybe an old barn or something? Well, there is the McKinley. <laughs> Where is it? People around here don't really like to talk about it. They're creepy. <laughs> well, we do have our share of issues out here, Mr. Vanderbilt. But do you know the story about William Tell? You should stay still. Real still. You try anything, and I'll cut your daughter's head off with a pair of scissors, and she will feel every second of it. Please. She's really getting under my skin. Soon. He's out there fighting the scary monsters so they don't come and get you. But the monsters are already here. I can hear them. You can hear them? They sing to me every night. They like to play in the shadows. You just have to know where to look. Wardrobe is an often overlooked aspect when it comes to low budget filmmaking, but a very important one. The way that a character is dressed can tell us an awful lot about them without ever saying a word. And the nominees in this category did a great job at this.
and the winner is The Last Leaf. The costumes in this period piece really helped put the viewers into the time era and stunned our judges with their authentic look. This is where it all started for me, really. Um, some of my most profound experiences, some of my first ones, happened right here in this town. People are hesitant about the poly gel. Well, the poly gel carries a lot of negative history, of course. But there have been people that have uh, died in the jail. One of the most notable one was Aberdeen Johnson. It's typical of lynching at that time. They castrated him before they pulled him up. We opened the door. We opened the door. We went in there. Something latched onto us, followed us back over here. Not even 10 minutes later, we're seeing shadow figures. If you're looking for ghosts, yeah, the town's pretty active. And, and if you talk to people, you know, they'll tell you they've seen ghosts. Everybody's got a positive spin on their ghost story, except for people when they talk about the poly jail. It seems like there's something more than meets the eye. Every time we asked Sheriff Rogers about the poly jail, he was always trying to deflect. Okay. If we could get it open, would you walk us through? Or? Yeah, well. His whole demeanor changed. I think there's something else going on there. You see that shadow movement? Who died? He died. Was it Aberdeen? That's right. I just felt something tug my shirt. Go ahead, touch him. Go ahead. Dude, I just felt something touch my arm. <laughs> what the f Got a little midnight snack out of all of us, really. Oh, s I think it's time we get to work. Everybody's got a ghost story, and they've all got their own ghosts, but it could all be the same. Save your energy. Who are you? Just how did I get here? What's going on? Try to relax. Try to relax. Trust me. An anxiety attack in here is like a grenade in a bunker. Close your eyes. Focus on the last thing you remember. The artist set design is incredibly important when it comes to being able to draw the viewers in and put them in the world of your characters. Even the little details like a chess set on the table can tell you a lot about those characters. The nominees for this category are... And the winner is Belfast 1912. The excellent set design for this film took us over a century back in time and into a very dark and haunting place. I call them, uh, I call them Beezers. Uh, used to be you know, everybody called them zombies. Heck, it's, it's on the patch. Um, but then it was zombs, and then I was, you know, trying to mix it up a little bit. Uh, you know, some people call them brain munchers. Uh, that's, I don't think that's professional, but uh, I call them beezers. A um, couple guys over in, that was mine, a uh, couple guys over in Nelson County been using it. Well, well one guy. But still, I think it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, he's like, hey, you getting some beezers. And I was like, that's mine, you know. Um, so I got that going for me, um, but of course, um, 
they always want to change how we call things and um, now it is what is it? I B L S M C. Um, <laughs> infection based late stage mutated citizens. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to call them Beezers, right? Um, but of course, uh, my supervisor is all like, uh, you know, how we call things is important. And I'm like, yeah, and you call your uh, your sister's cat your fur nephew, Courtney, right? One, don't give me this BS when it's not my fault. Two, don't stress me out when I've been cooking and three, cleaning all day. Babe, if you're going through hell, keep going. It's no place to stop. But when does it stop, Sue? It's been one hit after another after another. I am, wow. I'm just so fucking fed up. Our next category is cinematography. The camera is literally the audience's eyes when it comes to how a story unfolds. And the choices when it comes to angles and direction and movement really help bring the story to life for the viewer. The nominees for this award are And the winner is Woodland Cemetery. The main character in this story is a photographer, which made it all the more crucial for this haunting film to be shot so beautifully. You awake? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to spook you. Where are we? My house. Don't worry. Those sheets have been washed. I need to go. You're not going anywhere. So, we're stuck here. Might as well make the best of it. special. You're so desperate for someone who can actually see you and give you the love and attention you deserve. Whatever you have in your mind is some crazy fantasy that you've just created. That's not true. If you'll just give me a chance. How can you not see how crazy you are?
being an actress is tough, but being an actress in a horror film can be downright brutal. Whether you're the femme fatale or the final girl or just one on the chopping block, you ladies know what I'm talking about. So now I'd like to show you our nominees for Best Actress. And the winner is Lizette Guzman Zaragoza in Don't Wake Up in the Middle of the Night. This talented actress had the daunting task of displaying a wide range of emotions while being visited by a strange creature. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening, do not fall asleep. Do not fall asleep. The sleeping have been walking, walking and killing. Of course, being, a, being the leading man in a horror film is no cakewalk either. Often, you, it's very mentally taxing and you end up doing a lot of the heavy lifting, as the nominees in this category have demonstrated. And the winner is Jeremy Sumpman in Grime Scene C11. Performing in a horror comedy is never easy, but he pulls this authoritative character off with a great balance of authenticity and gallows humor.
it takes a brave soul to be a director for a horror film. Genre fans will either sing your praises or throw tomatoes at you, and it's really hard to predict which way it's going to go. Taking the responsibility to completely oversee a project is incredibly taxing, and we're really celebrating our nominees in this category. And the winner is Rachel Quinn for The Darkness Before Me. The elements of this creepy film were perfectly presented by her choices in this story about a man's fear of the dark. You trod upon sacred ground today. Few gain entrance to my stronghold, my fortress, my castle. It's your parents. Shut up, Doug. <laughs> Spain. High school field trip back when you could still carry swords on airplanes. Maybe we could take a trip together sometime? Hide and seek? I said there might be games. Be one of us, Brad. Ready or not? Here we come! One, two, three. Hello? Play the game, Doug. What's going on? No, 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 please, 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 no, 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 please, no, 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 please. In a world where household pets are tired of being easy prey in horror movies, see the day that breakfast was late, see Koi Rana, see Revenge of the Cat Toys, or just see a lot of cute animals dressed up in creepy costumes. The Magic of Horror announces its new special contest, Scary Evil Pets. Two categories to choose from, animal costume photos and mock trailers of pets gone bad. For more details on how to submit your entry, visit our website at www.magicofhorror.com. We double dog dare you. Our final award tonight is for Best Short Film. The finalists represent the top-rated films by our jury based on several aspects of filmmaking. And they spread all across the genre board, from horror comedies to psychological thrillers. The nominees are...
And the winner is Woodland Cemetery by Niels Bigorne. This beautiful film about a photographer who catches a private moment in a cemetery is very haunting and stands out as an excellent example of visual storytelling. Congratulations all around to this year's winners of the 2021 Magic of Horror Festival. Now we've already been hard at work getting ready for next year's festival. The submissions are now open and you'll be able to find more information about that on our website. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this year's awards show and I'm looking forward to doing this all again next year and I'm hoping to see a lot of you. But until then, keep working that magic that goes into our favorite genre.